Welcome everyone, this is Andrea Vall and I'm making a quick tutorial on how to customize the Facebook recommendations bar using the Facebook plugin that you will install onto your WordPress site. Now we have a post that goes through great detailed steps on how you get the Facebook plugin into your WordPress site. But I wanted to just highlight a couple of things and show you exactly how you do it. The, the, obviously you just download the WordPress plugin here and then you'll upload it on your WordPress site the way you would normally in the plugins area. Now the next step that you'll have to take once you install the plugin is to create a Facebook app. Now it sounds a little daunting, but again, the steps are all in the uh, post that we have on our site, which I have a link to just below. But just to highlight something that I wanted to make sure everyone was aware of is the, the types of things you're going to put in the basic info of your Facebook app. And here is the example of my Facebook app and the display name I have for my Facebook app is called AndreaVall.com. Now, when you, uh, when you go to install the app and create the app in, in the developer's area of Facebook, it will give you some suggestions on what to put in there, which is really great. But just wanted to highlight that this display name will be the name that shows up in Facebook when people like or recommend a post from the recommendations bar. So something to keep in mind as you create your Facebook app. Now once you create the app, you're going to have the uh, app secret and app, um, app ID that you're going to put into the app. And again, you do that right within the Facebook app on the side here. So uh, once you've done that, and again, the steps are all outlined, but just to highlight that, you put the app ID and app secret in there then you are ready to uh, select the settings for your recommendations bar. Now all you have to do to enable it is just to check this box that says recommendations bar. Now one thing you can just to note as well is that you can change the language on that recommendations bar between recommend or like. Let me show you what it looks like on a post. So here's a post on my site and you can see that the recommend uh, is highlighted here. Now the post that I'm on is called How and Why to Use Facebook Offers. If someone comes along and clicks the recommend button, that is going to send a post back to their Facebook, uh, their Facebook uh, profile that says that they recommend the article. So let's take a look at how that looks. It shows up in the activity area. And you can see that it says, Andrea recommends how and why to use Facebook offers on andreaval.com. Now that's your Facebook app that you've created. If I click on this app, it will actually take me now to my Facebook page, or to my website, which is, again, a handy way to have people uh, get to your website and share your content. Now, if you want to change the settings, so you want to have like appear instead of the recommendations bar, I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes. And now, if I go back to that post before and hit Refresh, And scroll down, you're going to see here in this area is the like instead of a recommend. And so now the language that will appear on in my activity feed on Facebook is now the like. So I just kind of refreshed and redid that. Now if I refresh it says Andrea likes how and why to use Facebook offers. So it's just the language that you prefer, and that's how you do some of the settings in your recommendations bar in your WordPress plugin. Thanks, everyone.